loved him so much. He was a really happy person, always cheerful, always had a smile on his face. And he always loved talking about hunting and fishing and flying and his family. Collective grief, nearly 12 hours after first learning of his death in Southwest Alaska plane crash. Tonight, Alaskans mourn the loss of Eugene Paltola Jr. Representative Mary Paltola's husband and a well-known Alaskan leader in his own right. The people who knew him called him Buzzy. To many in Alaska Native communities, he was known for years of leadership. Nearly one day later, the impact and the search for answers about the death of U.S. Representative Mary Paltola's husband, Eugene Paltola Jr., is just beginning to be understood. We have live team coverage tonight as reaction and condolences flood in from across the nation. Steve Church starts us off with the difficult job that investigators now face. Steve. Mike, Maria, the NTSB admits the remote terrain northwest of St. Mary's, where they're now working with Alaska National Guard, will make investigating what caused a plane crash that killed Eugene Patola Jr. difficult. That word difficult is a sentiment from those who were closest to Representative Mayor Patola's husband about the impact of the, this loss. We are devastated. Hearing those words in an early morning statement from Representative Peltola's Chief of Staff, Anton McParlin, was how many Alaskans began learning their representative's husband, Eugene Peltola Jr., known affectionately as Buzzy, had died in a plane crash. The only information that we have is that there were witnesses uh, to the accident. How many? I do not know at this time. During a news conference, National Transportation Safety Board Chair Jennifer Homedy said the pilot of a Piper PA-18150 Super Cub, pictured here, who Alaska State Troopers now see was Peltola Jr., was flying a hunter in their equipment to a remote location 64 miles northeast of St. Mary's. Now the investigation, Homedy says, will work with the Alaska Air National Guard. Uh, to document the wreckage and any evidence and connect, uh, uh, conduct interviews of uh, any of the witnesses. The NTSB says the plane appeared to have crashed while it took off, about 18 minutes after sunset at 848, with Peltola Jr. the only one on board. The NTSB chair also says they're investigating weather conditions, since the closest weather observation site is in St. Mary's. We have a meteorologist right now at the NTSB uh, looking at uh, the weather, uh, and that will continue as we uh, move forward in the investigation. And an investigation Alaskans will watch closely. The representative's chief of staff writing in a statement, Petola Jr. was one of those people who was obnoxiously good at everything. He had a delightful sense of humor that lightened the darkest moments. Her chief of staff also says Representative Petola continues asking for privacy during this tough time. Her team will continue to meet with constituents and carry on work while she returns to Alaska. Mike Maria. All right, thank you so much, Steve. And as you can imagine, through the day, there has been a true sense of sadness and condolences pouring in. That includes the reaction Beth Verge saw today as she continues our team coverage with those who knew Eugene Peltola Jr. Beth? Well, Mike, Maria, the photo behind me is one many have seen throughout the day. He's pictured with his wife, Representative Mary Peltola, exactly one year ago at a ceremonial swearing in in Washington, D.C. But those I spoke with today say Eugene Peltola Jr., Buzzy, as he much preferred to be called, is going to be remembered fondly, not only for his advocacy, but for his care for others and that beaming smile. He loved to fly. He loved to go hunting. And um, I was always so proud of him to be, you know, that he was my cousin. He was just very happy and proud of his family and his wife, and he always supported her. And, you know, he was just a very good person. Alaska lost a real cornerstone for the future of what would help shape Alaska. We know that for sure. That's how wonderful he was and how much he thought of Alaska. He talked of his family every day when he was here, and he would laugh and the things he was remembering. A former regional director for the Bureau of Indian Affairs, this agency photo shows some of the regional staff from Anchorage in 2018, the year Paltola took his post there. He stepped down from that position last year. The Alaska Federation of Natives today saying on social media that, quote, his work and his legacy 
will always be remembered. But as is being made even clearer today, there are many fond memories of Buzzy away from public service, too. But just this evening, the White House releasing a statement from the president, who was said to have spoken with the congresswoman earlier today. President Joe Biden saying she flew back to Washington with him on Air Force One earlier this week, quote, with the whole world ahead of her. Today, he says, I spoke with her with that world shattered in shock and sadness. Such a loss is cruel and unfair. But we hope you remember that he will always be with you. In the difficult time ahead, they added, we keep you in our prayers. Alaska's delegation also sharing condolences today. Senator Lisa Murkowski saying she is shocked, saddened, and at a loss for words. Anyone who met Buzzy, she wrote, felt his warmth, generosity, and charm. It was easy to see why so many Alaskans called him a friend and how he was so loved by his family. Senator Dan Sullivan also commenting via social media, saying in part that he offers Mary and her family, quote, heartfelt prayers for strength and consolation in this time of unspeakable loss and grief. And no, he says that Alaskans across our great state are doing the same. And the governor and his wife sharing similar sentiments. A statement from the office of Governor Mike Dunleavy says in part that they too are deeply saddened by the loss. We will be praying for Mary, their children, and all of the Peltola family, they wrote. Gene's dedication to Alaska ran deep, and he will be dearly missed. The congresswoman is said to have returned to Alaska as of today. Mike, Maria. More about the reaction, to read more about the reaction and to get the latest updates from the NTSB, you can head to our website, alaskasnewsource.com, and we certainly wish to express our condolences to the Peltola family. Yes, our prayers are with you.